Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Revelation. I am your humble host, see you later, and we're going to be doing some pretty cool stuff today in Modded. Uh, today we're going to get started working on our very first power source, so we are going to get electrified, hopefully. So the first thing that we're going to do is admire this beautiful terrain. Isn't this amazing? Okay, so there's something else I wanted to talk to you guys about while we're walking over here. And that is the feeling of this map. I have the feeling when I'm playing this map for some reason. Like I'm in a post-apocalyptic world. And we've been charged with rebuilding civilization. And I think one of the reasons why I feel that way is it's really lonely. I mean, there's no other people around. And, uh, you know, the only people that we encounter are zombies. <laughs> and we don't know what their story was in a past life. Uh, but yeah, with the, with the addition of the Lost Cities, and there's a bunch of craters, if I pull up my map here, you can see with the Lost Cities, you know, they're destroyed and empty, and there's all these craters around, uh, that kind of reminds me of, you know, almost like a, a Fallout type uh, play. <laughs> so yeah, that's the feeling I'm getting from this map, and I'm really enjoying it. It's uh, reminding me of Fallout. Uh, kind of uh, the atmosphere things like that. So I've been working uh, a little bit with this uh, architect saw bench and this is from architecture craft and this is pretty cool because it lets you make some uh, rounded shapes and Also, you can make roofing uh, There's some arches railings and things like that so I've been messing around with that and I made some different things and uh, I also made some factory blocks from uh, Chisel. And let's go on upstairs and I'll show you what we're doing. Now, having mentioned about the, you know, uh, post-apocalyptic feeling, I think it would be kind of inappropriate for us to make a windmill uh, that looks like a medieval style windmill. So I came up with a little bit of a design that feels a little bit more like, um, uh, you know, something that would be homemade or cobbled together out of rusty old pieces and things like that. So in this wooden storage crate, I've set up basically all the stuff that we're going to need. So to get started, I think what we're going to do is there was when I first came up here to this uh, roof, there was a structure here that looked kind of like this. Uh, I'm not sure about the 100 percent about the exact placement, and it had a couple of iron bars just like this. And I tore it down because I didn't know what we were going to do up here and things like that. So uh, what I'm doing now is I think I put this pretty much back where it was and I'm going to leave it because what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these scaffoldings. And uh, in the last episode, we figured out that we could make uh, steel simply by smelting iron uh, in a uh, furnace, you know, in just a vanilla furnace. Uh, and so I've made up a bunch of steel and I ended up crafting that into steel scaffolding, uh, which is pretty easy. You just took, take the uh, steel ingots, three across the top, and steel rods, with, which are just two ingots, one on top of the other gives you four. And one of these crafts gives you six. So I've made quite a few of these. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this look uh, a little bit, hopefully, like a uh, post-apocalyptic uh, structure that we... Uh, put a bunch of stuff together from found items, things like that. So I'm just going to build this up here uh, a little ways. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how high I'm going. Uh, I'm just kind of going by feel, but let's hop down and let's see. Okay, that's that's looking pretty good for the scaffolding part. Now I've got uh, something a little bit special planned for the next part, which is going to be, uh, and we may end up building the scaffolding up just a little more. But I'm going to take these rusty plates from chisel and I'm going to grab these round posts and let's see I've got some fluid pipes from immersive engineering and I've also got some structure cable connectors and some hemp rope coil and that we got from farming our hemp and uh, we made some of that up so what I'd like to do is there's going to be this uh, structure that's like the main structure and then what we'll do is when we get up near the top of this, I think I'm going to lower this just a little bit. Okay. And let's see, I'll take this down maybe like two blocks. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this block here, this factory block. And then we're going to put the round post here. 
just like this and then we'll go back up another couple of blocks like maybe this far and then let's see can I jump on these yes I can and then we're going to put another factory block down don't need the dank nola right now and then we'll put whoops uh, that's okay because we can come over this way and I can put one down here my plan and then if we go back up again I'll put another two more of these scaffoldings and then we'll take this up the rest of the height so two three four seven eight nine ten well, we'll go ahead and use our last one. Why not? So now we're up way up high in the sky and let's just go down and see what this looks like and see if I've achieved what is it what I was after. Okay, I think that looks pretty cool. So basically you've got this uh, steel scaffolding structure that's pretty strong. Okay, and then we've got this pole that goes up that basically looks like some uh, old rusty pipe that we found that we've been able to fashion into the side of this thing. Now I'm gonna go up again, and I'm gonna place down a couple more scaffoldings, uh, just so we have something to stand on, and I think I'll try just right here. Now, if I do take out this scaffolding, and I grab one of our fluid pipes, I can put a fluid pipe here, just like that. And then one of the cool things about immersive engineering scaffolding is wherever you have a pipe, you can also put, um, just like that, a scaffolding. And let's see, I need to go down just a little bit more. So let me take this off. And okay, so once you do that, you cannot climb up this anymore. So let me go to this side. <laughs> this is kind of like a, a acrobatics uh, act Oop. so we fell down again <clears throat> yeah so if I'm gonna do a bunch of tall stuff like this in the future I may want to invest in uh, <laughs> some way to fly maybe like an angel ring or something like that okay so I'm just gonna build the scaffolding there just a little bit now the next thing I'll do is I'll put a pipe here and you can see this pipe connects to this pipe now, if you look closely, you'll see it's not connecting to this block, but I think what I want to do is do the same thing on the upper one. So we are going to have to pillar up above this since this scaffolding doesn't work as a ladder once it has a uh, pipe in it. And then, so let's see, I'll go up a little bit more and let me go maybe down one. So here we'll put another pipe and connect it and then we'll put another scaffolding and let's take a look at that and see what that looks like so what I'm going for is basically to make this thing look you know pretty much like uh, legitimately like these blocks would be holding on to this rod and connecting it to uh, this scaffolding and I think that looks pretty cool so let me go ahead and grab a quick sleep make it daytime all right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we have to go up to the very top, which means we're probably going to need to pillar up again. And let's see, I don't know if I'm going to have enough scaffolding for that. Um, let's see if I do. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a work platform up here. So let's go ahead and head down and take a look in. We'll grab our toolbox, which I think I need an open hand for. And we'll also grab the kinetic dynamo. We'll grab the windmill. See, I don't need those right yet. And I went ahead and made the windmill sails. Uh, basically, those are made uh, from the six of these uh, tough fabric. Uh, and those are made from hemp. So you can see now why we were uh, farming all that hemp. Now we might need this architect's hammer uh, to be able to move these blocks around but I've got these cylinders and I've got these hemispheres because I've got an idea of something pretty cool that we're going to do uh, with those I have almost forgot to grab those sails alright so what I'd like to do is I'd like to I want the windmill to face this way so let me see if we take our scaffolding and I just go here here 
and up one. We should be able to put our kinetic dynamo on this part. Or do I want to put it? Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'm going to put one cylinder here. And obviously that's kind of not the way I want to have it uh, facing. So if I just hold shift and click this, it'll go through the different positions. And that's the way I want to have it sit, just like that. The next thing is our kinetic dynamo, which is right there. Now this is the basically what works kind of like a generator uh, but it needs something moving in order to generate power and that's what we're going to use our windmill for so let me grab the scaffolding and I'm gonna pillar out a couple more blocks now if we put our windmill down uh, it won't start turning if there's any of these uh, blocks in the way but that's okay it'll be fine once we remove the uh, uh, blocks that are in its way so the next thing is we're going to take the windmill and we're going to place the windmill just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take one of these hemispheres. Now I'm not sure if this slows it down or reduces the amount of power because I believe you're not supposed to put any blocks in, uh, in front of these, but how cool is that? It looks like we have a little bit of a uh, nose cone on this thing. And I think that lends to the fact that, you know, what we're after is something that looks a little more like a, uh, you know, something that was uh, cobbled together and a little uh, less like a, uh, <laughs> like a old medieval style windmill. Okay, so uh, let me see if I put another block here. Yep, that one connects up okay. Uh, I will switch it around to see if the textures will match up. Yep, that looks perfect. And then we're going to put a cone on the end as well, right over here. And let's see, can we switch that one around? Uh, it looks like the texture is not going to exactly line up, but that's okay. I think that looks just fine. So yeah, I think we got ourselves something that looks kind of like a uh, wind turbine. Pretty cool. Now the other question that I don't know the answer to is once we wire this thing up, uh, can I get the uh, connectors to pass through uh, these blocks which is what I would like for it to do let's go ahead and get this guy running so if I just take out the scaffolding blocks here here and here the windmill should start going there it goes awesome now can we put the sails on the synth th these are all uh, just visual the blades the central portion here is the actual block. So you just right click them on the block. Each one, there's eight of them. And you can see how this thing really started to speed up once we did that. I <laughs> get a little bit of vertigo up here uh, with all this motion. Uh, but anyway, so now what we want to do is we want to come up here and we need a way to get the power out of this thing. So we're going to take our uh, toolbox and look inside and I've got some wire coils I'll just grab a few of those we've got some connectors and we've got some relays and I think that should be it um, but we may need our hammer as well so let me put that down here and let's see so if I take a connector now you have to use the connector here Okay, this says 256 industrial flux, which I believe is the same as redstone flux, so RF, IF, interchangeable, and I'll probably just uh, refer to it as RF uh, most of the time. Now, what I don't know, if it works or not, is uh, usually you can take these connectors, and if you put them on two sides of a block, you can, uh, you can connect them through the block because I really don't want the wiring to look all weird on this thing uh, so I'll take a connector and put it here okay now if this doesn't work I'll just move this over to the side or something like that but what I really would like to do is basically uh, connect one wire uh, that's hemp rope I want the voltage wire I can connect one here that works just fine okay and then on the bottom of this 
uh, we need to put a connector as well. And if I right click the connector with uh, a normal block, I don't know if it works with these uh, with these modded ones, but with a normal block, you would get a pass through here. So I don't know if it actually worked or not. And the way you normally would know is there'll be a texture change on the block. So let me uh, take out this scaffolding. Don't want to fall down and come down. And I think what we'll do to see if this worked, I think we'll go ahead and take a uh, capacitor bank. So I'm going to put the uh, capacitor right here. And we're going to need to put a connector on it, which I have here. And that should be the input. And if this works as a pass through, then we're good to go. So I should be able to put one here and one here and nothing. Oh, this is terrible. Let's try a factory block and we'll see if this works. We'll go back up again. <laughs> a little bit tedious, I know, but if it works, it'll be really cool. Let's see. We'll put this guy here and go back down again and this guy here and there's nothing going in but if we right click here see the texture change just a little bit right there and it looks like yep we are getting 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 RF so this guy is working and that makes me really happy. I think this is pretty cool. I'm going to take one wire and I'm going to set it for that connector right there. Okay. And it will hold, see where it says linking from 48, 44, 111, uh, yada, yada. If I put it back up here, it won't stack with these, I don't think, but it'll hold that. Um, it may, if, if I do stack it, let me see what happens. Yeah, it doesn't stack because it's holding data. Now, if I put, if I come down here and I don't think this distance is too far. If I come down here, I can put a relay, which is what I want this time. I don't want a connector. I want a relay because we're not going to input or output power. We're just going to. Uh, move it from one place to another and I think this should work if I take the one that we have set which is here and then I click on the relay BAM so we have a wire a power wire that's connected from up here right down to this block right here which is excellent now I can finish up connecting up the power uh, a little bit later that's gonna go down uh, to the bottom but uh, for the time being, I'd like to do some more aesthetics. So one of my ideas that I had was we're actually going to take uh, some of these structural cables. Okay. And I'm going to put one on the front side of this. Right here. Just like that. And then I'm going to go around to the other side and put another one just like it which is this one right here okay now the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to get some ropes set up and again these will hold their uh, these will hold their data so if I do this I'm gonna to go to the back side first okay and we're gonna go set that one and that one okay and then we're going to go around to this side and set the other two which will be this one and this one excellent and I think for the time being that's all we need to do up here so I'll clean this up our little scaffolding all right guys I'm back now uh, these three points are going to be even but because we've got this structure up here um, this one is going to look uneven so I'm not sure exactly how it's going to look just yet but we'll go ahead and hook these up so these two I used for the backside 
and they're already set to the uh, back point up here. So I should be able to put one here, and that connects up to the top, and then the other one here. Aha, uh -huh. so the auto thingy uh, got in my way on that one. Is it this one? Okay, yeah, that's good. I might have to go up again and reset the other one. So the front side should be hooked up to this one. Okay, so that one is not. Let me go ahead and set this one. Okay, so we do have that one. And then I'll go ahead and reset this one. Uh, let's see, if you shift and right click or... Okay, I don't want to connect connect it from there <laughs> but the connection was obstructed anyway but if we climb up here and just get that coordinate then we come over here and connect up the last one and let's see what that looks like okay I actually think that doesn't look too bad it's uh like I said it's a little bit weird because that one is up on top of the thing and the other three are down further but yeah I actually like how that looks so the idea is these uh, ropes and uh, cable connectors are there to help with the, uh, you know, if the wind is blowing on our wind turbine a little bit much so that it doesn't cause uh, too much sway in our metal tower. Now, Minecraft physics, that'll never happen, but I'm doing it for looks and uh, I think it looks pretty cool. It's, uh, it's kind of cheesy looking, uh, but you know, if you were in a post-apocalyptic post -apocalyptic world, you might have to do some uh, something that's a little bit cheesy like that. So let me play with these connectors a little bit. Uh, I think I might move that one down to this level if it'll reach that far. And then once I'm done with that, uh, we'll set up our, our next structure, which is going to be our, our power bank. So let me work on that and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So setting up our power bank should be pretty straightforward. We're going to grab the rest of these capacitors and uh, the low voltage capacitors are pretty cheap. If I just look at the recipe, it's just treated wood planks, copper, iron, a little bit of redstone, and one lead ingot in the middle, and that gives you an LV capacitor. All right, guys, so I figured out what was really messing me up. Uh, the basic problem is is that I have this uh, system that if I place something down it will refill my uh, hotbar with the like kind so let me just show you if I just take these two uh, that are incompatible so these two don't stack okay I can't stack them but if I place it down you'll see immediately the other one goes into my hand and the problem is, is if I set them up, then I don't know which one is which because it won't actually tell me in my hand uh, which one is facing which way. So, see, those are incompatible. These are this these stack. These are all the same input output. So basically, what I need to do is do these one at a time. Uh, output. <laughs> this is so confusing. Okay, so let me see. These should be an input. That's correct. Okay, I got it, I got it. Okay. All right, so one last time. Power will come in the top. It will go in here and straight to the bottom. And then as they fill up from the bottom, and this one then gets some in it, it will then start to charge the ones out here on the top side. Those will fill the ones on this side, and then those will push back into the center again. So we're always going to be pulling from the bottom and it will should be filling from the top until it gets here. And then these ones are in a loop basically. So as, uh, uh, as it fills up here, it goes down and fills these up. So this one I noticed is filling. And what I'm hoping is to see, uh, it maybe only will fill one at a time. So what I'm hoping is it'll also drain one at a time, which is fine with me as well. So now this guy is full, the one on the other side is full. This one has zero. This one has zero. Okay. None of those are filling up. That one's not filling. That one is filling. Okay, so it may not output again. 
until uh, both of these sides are full. Okay, well that's okay too. So anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure that's working like it's supposed to. Uh, it doesn't surprise me that these lower tier uh, capacitors will only put out uh, one side at a time. Uh, that actually does make sense. All right, guys. Well, uh, this is me playing this game, and definitely that was confusing. Uh, the last thing that we need to do as far as that goes is we need to put another uh, relay. Let's see. Do we use a relay? Nope. We got to use a connector. Got to put a connector on the bottom of this, and then once we figure out where we want the power to go, uh, we'll just go from this connector, maybe down through the... Uh, through here so we could put a, a connector there um, but I'll save that for some off-camera work we'll get this thing hooked up and then in the next episode what we're going to do is is we are going to figure out what we are exactly going to do uh, now that we have all of this power so we've got our cool fancy windmill up there and we've got our power bank set up and I think this is pretty good uh, setup to be quite honest. It's aesthetically pleasing. I really like the way the windmill looks and I like our, our little tower that we made for it. I definitely think it fits the feel of our uh, post-apocalyptic wasteland that we're living in, <laughs> which is a beautiful uh, forest. Uh, all right, so uh, without further ado, I'm see you later. Thanks for hanging out with me guys and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.